Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and I know most of you guys are really sad that I hadn't released a video in about 3 weeks but don't worry because I'm back with another video and in this part we're going to resume where we left off that is we're going to make the landing gear, the nose and the wing attachments so let's get into it. So we're going to first start with the nose. So the nose looks like 4 identical pieces connected together but in reality it isn't. I don't think you guys will be able to notice a difference on camera but there are two different shapes two which form the side plates and the other two which form the top and the bottom plate since it's still just some raw coro sheet we're gonna prep it by doing some basic score cuts if you watched my previous videos then you'll know by now what a score cut is but if you haven't check them out because there's a lot of good info and tips on how to work with coro sheet material so we're gonna do that to both the top plates since the side plates don't need them we're gonna go slow and steady and avoid cutting through the material as this is the nose and it's the first part of the airplane that you'll notice. You wanna make it as clean as possible, so take your time. After cutting, we're gonna pull that material out and create that cavity. This gives the glue some surface to stick to. So the next step helps the nose bend into a sharper pointier nose. What I'm basically doing is I'm just opening up the material so it will bend inwards and we're gonna do that to all the pieces. Next, we're going to glue the side plates to the base plate and hold it for a couple of seconds for it to dry. And guys, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get the latest videos. So after that, we're going to glue on the top plates to the side plates. And straight away, there's an obvious nose issue. If you look closely, the top plate doesn't fully cover the front. So then I tweaked the designs, went with a different concept and did all the same steps again. By gluing, I cut the top plate because it was not as accurate as I wanted and made some adjustments and glued everything together. Looking at the two versions of the nose, you do notice some size difference but the second design is so much cleaner. So I had planned on doing the landing gear next but I faced a huge issue with the wing attachment. Originally I had planned to just slide the whole wing through the fuselage but that became impossible because of the engine placement as the wing was so far back and close to the engine housing. So I had to come up with a new design and some reinforcements. So I printed and prepped the plants and made them into parts. So this part is the wing box. This is placed inside the fuselage and holds the two wings together. With this part, I went with a parallel material orientation to get maximum strength. Since this is a very structurally important part, but it ended up being really weak. So I made the whole part again, but in the opposite orientation. Added some tape to reinforce the parts and it turned out to be really strong. Now these plates are the vertical members that go inside the fuselage and hold the wing box and the landing gear. I also designed some holes near the wing box opening to channel the LEDs and so on. Here I'm just taking a little material off to get a perfect fit. So that's what the assembly is supposed to look like. It was really painful cutting the wing in half because I can't really undo it if it doesn't work out but I just went for it. It just folds up beautifully and that is what the inside of the wing looks like. Now let's install the wing box structure. The cuts I'm making on the fuselage are for the landing gears. So now let's align all the side plates and glue them together. Gluing this plate should have been done at the beginning when the fuselage was still a sheet but since I didn't see it coming, we'll do it the hard way. And that's what it looks like from the inside. Because the material is translucent, I put my phone inside and tried to cut it from the inside but I kind of realized it was a stupid idea and just cut it from the outside. Mm -hmm. 
and now to test fit the box and it's perfect and here's another look inside next we're going to do the main landing gear this plane uses a tricycle configuration similar to what you see on an airliner my previous scratchable airplane used a tail drag configuration where the two big wheels were at the front and a small wheel at the back so i stuck the templates together got the wire and marked the bend points and bent it this rod is really really stiff it is good for the airplane but it's really hard to bend and make into the shape we want to since it's quite accurate to the template let's just put the wheels on and see if they work now let's make the part which goes into the fuselage this is a removable landing gear so you can choose not to fly with it if you want so here i am just aligning the rod and opening a cavity for the rod to rest inside and then i glued the mid plate and glued the whole thing together then i added some tape to reinforce the structure and now time to test it so this is slots into the airplane like so this can eject mid flight if you do some crazy stunts because it has happened to my old airplane and messed up the cg but i crash landed it and it's still in one piece now let's move on to the wheel covers so we're going to scorch the top plate like before and get rid of the material and do some cuts inside the material to bend it and also just to see if everything fits before we glue everything together as you can see it looks good with the wheel but i'm not fully satisfied with the design so i'm going to revisit this later let's now do the strut fairings i actually cut the two parts in different orientation to see which uh, was just easier to make and gave the best result so i marked and cut some off because the landing gear had a 1.5 cm decrease in overall length when compared to the template design so just making some adjustments here and there so here i'm doing some bevel cuts trying to get the fairing to bend and opening the cavity for the rod to be placed and then i repeated the same for the other fairing and glued everything together the purpose of the fairing is one for aesthetic reasons and two it helps reduce the aerodynamic drag because a cylinder produces more drag when compared to something like an aerofoil so that's the reason for attaching the fairings so i just glued the fairing on to the rods and there it is with the wheels on it looks real nice and now since we're done with the main landing gear let's just assemble the whole plane together and take some photos for my instagram page speaking of instagram page make sure you follow me on instagram and facebook to not miss out on the photos and the short videos links are in the description the reason I didn't do the nose wheel is cuz it's just a little complex with the steering wheel mechanism and the suspension so we'll do that in the next episode. Now let's appreciate the beauty of this beast. So that's it for this week. Hope you guys enjoyed it and don't forget to like and subscribe and comment if you have any questions and I will answer them. Share these videos if you know anyone who's interested in airplanes and these sort of videos. Thank you guys for watching till the end and until next time. Bye bye.